Okay, so this morning when I was reading, well, no, I take that back. When I was actually just trying to figure out what, what I was supposed to do, and I heard Revelation 4, and I it literally went, ugh. <laughs> because Revelation is, Revelation is tough, because it's the future. And none of us have been there. We don't know. We just, you know, so I read over the commentary, and I've, I've prayed over this, and I've read over it, and read over it, and read over it, and it just hit me that God just wants us to realize how sovereign and how big and how awesome he is. That's what this is about today. Um, Revelation 4 is actually really small. It's not very long, but it is powerful. The key verse um, is verse 11, Revelation 4, 11. And it says, Haha. they're talking about God here, okay? You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Do you understand that? You yourself were created by God. All the people you love and care about were created by God. And they were given their being, their very <sighs> breath, <laughs> by God. He did it. He continues to do it. And even after they pass, he still takes them to where they're to be, whether it be heaven or whether it be hell. God loves you and cares more than you will ever know or comprehend about you. Let me read this. It's good. After this, I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. Now, this is John. Okay, this is his vision and what God put him through for, for him to understand and be able to write Revelation. <clears throat> and the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. And at once I was in the Spirit, and there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. Now let me stop. How cool would this be? It's either really cool or it's going to freak you out but it's still cool. Put yourself in their shoes and think about what this all would be like and look like, okay? Verse three, and the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and carnelian. Those are stones, I believe, precious stones. A rainbow resembling an emerald encircled the throne. Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones and seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder. Before the throne, seven lamps were blazing. These are the seven spirits of God. Also before the throne, there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. In the center around the throne were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion. The second was like an ox. The third had a face like a man. The fourth was like a flying eagle. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around, even under his wings. Day and night, they never stop saying. This is so cool. They're, they're doing this to God, okay? Holy, holy, holy <laughs> is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. 
I hope you understand the magnitude of this today. I hope you understand that the God you serve is all that you need and all that this world needs. He created the world. He is it. <laughs> so cool. So cool.